What's up, Formula Drift champ and one of the stars of NBC's Octane Academy, Vaughn Gittin Jr. is stopping by the show via Skype. Yeah. 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 Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom goes the drifter. If you're all like, hey, Jaguar, give me a sport break, well, they are XFRS style. Ferrari's new supercar needs some competitive tweakage, and Bentley's SUV is a go. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and Fast Lane Daily is what this be. It's official, AK. What is it? That Bentley will produce its SUV concept as a 2016 model. Are you serious? I am serious. That is right. Listen up, all you falconers. And if you're into falconeering, the British automaker is calling it the, quote, most luxurious and powerful SUV on the market when it is released. Yeah, that's a bold statement there, Bentley. I mean, you currently have to beat the BMW X6M and Porsche Cayenne Turbo S, so you're talking tough. Engine options will include the new 4-liter twin-turbo V8 and 6-liter twin-turbo W12. You're looking at over 200000 bucks, and more of these will be produced than any other Bentley model, AK. You're going to get one. Oh, I'd rock that, Derek D. Oh, would you? When the Ferrari La Ferrari Ferrari Supercar Ferrari showed up at the Geneva Motor Show, the figures were pretty impressive. 950 of these <laughs> were produced from the combo of a 6.3 liter V12 and the Kurs electric system. Ferrari isn't sure that will be enough, though, to outdo McLaren's P1 supercar, which, yes, is less powerful at 903 horses, but has undergone solid aerodynamic development and suspension tweakage. Although Ferrari still has suspension and handling updates to make before producing the car, so we'll have to see. And literally, that's probably all we're going to do, is just see it. You know, we're probably not going to get to drive it. We're just going to see it and talk about it. Look at it. Look at it. Enjoy its physique of a car. Google it. Google it. Hey, want to see 1,700 horsepower Nissan GTR run the quarter mile in 7.98 seconds? For sure. Awesome. AMS Performance will show you in this video with the Alpha Omega GTR, Alpha Omega, beginning, end. Want another crazy stat? Zero to 60 in 1.72 seconds. AK, what do you think? Ooh, yeah. Fast, link is in the description. Right, Erica? That's right. You better believe it. If Jaguar's XFRS sports sedan gives you some jollies, but you're more of a practical, regular looking car person, we got some news for you. Thanks to World Car Fan Spy Shots, looks like Jaguar is currently testing a sport brake version. Yes, all 542 horsepower, of the XFRS's 5 liter V8 engine will be wedged under the hood of a sport brake body, a wagon, an estate, if you will. It'll be at the Frankfurt Motor Show, and 0 to 60 will probably happen eh, a little slower than the sedan's 4.6 second time due to extra poundage. I don't expect it to come stateside, though. That's all I gotta say about that. Hey, official images of BMW's EV i3 city car. So it pretty much looks like the concept. Erica, what do you think? Mm, didn't do anything. Yeah, terrific. That's great. All right, coming up next, we got Formula Drift champ Vaughn Gittin Jr. But first, let's get to know him a little bit. We get two number nines, a turkey burger, and three monsters. Practically empty. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking. That. Oh my God! Oh, holy crap! Oh, is he okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, for whatever little ladies we have, Vaughn Gittin Jr. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. What up, man? Thanks for having me on. Hey, no problem. You're, it's always a pleasure. So uh, let me ask you this. You know, you're a drifter. You're a professional drifter. What about drifting It gets you fired up? Like, while you're in your car, what are you thinking? Is it just, this is fun as hell, or I need to be in the front? Or have you thought of the most random things, like, shit, I forgot to get milk. Like, what is going on in your head? Well, at, like, fun drift events, it is, yeah, this is the funniest shit ever. Uh, at Formula D, I'm usually sitting looking at the wall I'm about to throw myself at at 100 <laughs> miles an hour, asking myself, why I'm doing this again. Is this the correct life choice for me? Yeah, why, why am I doing this? Like, do I need to be throwing myself at walls at over 100 miles an hour right now? And you know, 
the pressure is building and it's uh it's nuts but uh depending upon how long you're sitting at the line like you hit it you hit the nail on the head because once you get past that pressure point yeah then your brain is thinking all kinds of weird stuff oh milk uh, is there any snow cones like i'm really hot you know like you definitely start wandering off into dumb dumb territory and uh that's when you have to punch yourself and get the focus back yeah totally i always wonder that like there's got to be times where it, for any race car driver like where you're just maybe your mind drifts for a second and you're like man, that chick was really hot yesterday that I saw. And then, oh, yeah, let me get back in. I mean, I yeah. feel like that happens because you're just you so into totally it. You are correct. Yeah. yeah. And uh, speaking of, well, you mentioned your car before, your Mustang, RTR, drift car. What is it you like about it? What is it you dislike about it now? I know you got a lot of sponsors on that car, and Ford's one of your main ones. So, so you, could, you could tell me you dislike. It's cool. Well, I'm, a, I'm an honest dude, and uh, people don't pay me or can't pay me to lie. So I'll, I'll just right. lay that out there. Um, you know, the car that I'm driving this year uh, yeah. that was built by ASD in Charlotte, North Carolina, it's the best car I've ever driven. Um, it is crazy fast. It's very well balanced. And uh, I really have nothing bad to say about it. Um, the Ford Mustang as a stock car for drifting is is amazing. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to. the. Right the lack of the return from the electric power steering. But once you get a handle on that, dude, those cars are, it's almost like they're built for it. You know, the engineers will tell you they're not supposed to oversteer. They're not supposed to oversteer, but if you, if you're committed enough and throw it in hard enough, it'll stay there. Nice. Now, do you find since technology and cars are progressing, is it, is it, are you, is it, are you finding it harder to drift cars now because the technology and the traction control and all this shit they're putting in cars, it's harder to drift or it's getting easier? No, it's harder, but what you do, uh, when you're on the track, of course, yank the wheel speed sensors, okay. and then the computer doesn't know what's going on. And then you have your car back. Humans for the win. Humans! Yes. <laughs> I don't care about your computers. All right, since you began drifting professionally in 04, what's been your greatest personal achievement now. I know you won, you were the drift champion, Formula Drift champion in 2010. Is it, is that your greatest accomplishment or is it something really cool that we don't even know about that has nothing to even do with drifting? I don't. Yeah, I mean, man, it's tough. You know, it's been 10 years of this and, and uh, I feel like I'm just getting started, you know, like winning the USA versus Japan in 05 was a huge deal for me and, and just drifting in America as a whole. To because it's drifting's huge over there. Well, it started there. Yeah. So like for an American, you know, only, you know, a year into having like professional series in the US to take out all the, the Japanese drivers in an American car was like the shot heard around the world. So that was a really big deal. Like, scale wise but for me i think my biggest accomplishment like you know winning championships and winning events is good but like my biggest accomplishment i think so far is is rtr and having you know my own brand of mustang out there and available and and uh you know i just love everything about mustang and i'm just so pumped that my vision and my style has been accepted uh in that world so it's like america championships and then my own car basically pretty much yeah like yeah, your, I, your own name your own stamp yeah on that now that's yeah. pretty awesome so yeah. this current season you're you were in second you're currently in fourth and you got two more events you think you're gonna pull it out what's the deal uh you know the plan is to win the championship uh, Obviously, that's the goal <laughs> my team and i have been working uh our butts off all year you know this is my first year running my own team you know i've uh the past nine years of my career i've been one driver on a larger team and this year i ventured off by myself uh we've been killing it all year i had some bad luck this past round with a, a gearbox that didn't want to stay in gear for us and uh but we're sitting in fourth only 20 points and i mean 20 points is nothing so uh we're feeling really confident uh the next two rounds hopefully will be good for us nice dude looking for we'll f that it stupid gearbox yeah yeah come on, all man. that money on a transmission it doesn't stay in gear what's up with that seriously no yeah. bueno but we wish yeah. you the best of luck octane academy it's a show where you guys got 24 drivers slash contestants 
you know, each have your own team of drivers between you, Ken Block, uh, Brian Deegan, and Tanner Faust, right? Yep. And your team is Camp Gittin Jr., correct? Correct. Who's the best team and who's the best driver? Be honest. Hmm. Dude, that's tough. Um, you know, I'm going to go cocky here. I'm going to say we're all really good. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. out there. <laughs> and you're going to say you and your team. Um, you know, and our team is – is killing it. I picked some amazing guys. Um, uh, my man Jonathan Neeran is uh, is murdering it out there, and uh, you know we're just gonna have to see what happens at the finale. You know, for me, um, this opportunity of Octane Academy is just amazing to give these kids who have such good talent and such good skill, and they've been just grinding and fighting trying to make it right. to give them this opportunity. The winner's getting 50 grand and their choice a Ford product to basically start their motorsports career. Jeez. So for me to be able to take some guys, mentor them, get everything possible out of them, and the best man wins, like it's a killer opportunity and I'm pumped to be a part of it. Pretty awesome. Hey, dude, we've talked about it before. You and I got to get in a, a drift car. We've talked about it in the past. I, I mean, I I'm have ready. drifted. I'm not, a, I'm not a drifter at all, but we got to shoot that. I'm down. Make it happen. I've talked about it with Ryan Turk, but you're my first choice. I'm here. I'm yeah. close. Yo, me and Turk can come. I, uh, boom. Two birds, one Derek D. Or it's, Done. I don't know. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I would totally like to learn how to drift. This is not me drifting, by the way. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, dude, great to have you on the show. I, uh, Always appreciate when you come on. Octane Academy airs on NBC. Next episode is the finale Saturday night, July 27th at 5 p.m., right? That's right. If you want more info on that, go to octaneacademy.com. Vaughn, dude, always a pledge. Good luck the rest of the season on Formula Drift. I'm uh, pulling for you. Two more, two more events. You got to take it. Thanks, man. Really appreciate having me on, and uh, let's get in the car. Absolutely, yeah. I'm down to drift. Derek D. drifting status. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Appreciate right, it, bro. man. Later. Well, well that'll, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily, Daily today. I'll, I got it. Other green shirt, Derek? You want yeah. to take it from here? Okay, Thanks. cool. All right, bye, guys. That'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. FastLaneDaily.com is our official site. Twitter, go ahead and follow us there. Facebook, like us. YouTube, subscribe. We're over 150 thou. Appreciate that. Keep it going. iTunes, you can watch us there. Instagram, we post pics, T-shirts, and Vine. You got a new Vine today, Tom? Nah. No, I'm not sure we have new vibe. Anyway, bye. <laughs>